Hello! Welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Feels a bit mad to be vlogging today because it's my honeymoon, our honeymoon. We're on day eight of our honeymoon whereby we are cruising around Norway. We were in Lofoten Islands yesterday um, and today we're at sea. Um, and I thought I would vlog a day at sea for you um, to sort of show you what we get up to, our little routine, because like I said, it's day eight. We've done a few of these sea days now. The sea days, my friends, are absolutely packed chocker full of activities. The, in the evening of the night before, you get one of these delivered to your room. David is obsessed with it. <laughs> so this is called The Horizon and it has like the plans for the next day. So we've already been through and had a little look about what we what we wanted to do today. And today's day that you will be joining David and I, David's in the shower at the moment, looks thusly. It is 25 past nine. I had a terrible time getting to sleep last night. So where we are, we're in the Arctic Circle and the sun doesn't set. Don't let the sun go down on me. Sun doesn't set. And although these are very good blackout blinds, I mean, how good can blackout blinds be? Like, there was still sun coming through and I just couldn't sleep. So, I was supposed to go to Bridge Club this morning at 10 because I've been learning how to play bridge. And I just thought, no, I'm not going to. I'm actually going to finish my book in bed while David goes and plays some deck games. So, the, the first, I've fallen at the first hurdle really because I was supposed to go to Bridge Club at 10, which meant I needed to be having breakfast by about 11, uh, by about uh, 9 really. So I've missed that. Um, and David's going up to play some sort of deck game where you throw things. Then at 12.15, we've got choir. So we've um, joined the ship's choir and there's, it's a big choir. There's about 40 of us. Um, and we are doing eight songs. It is super fast learning. We've learnt um, Sing from Military Wives. We've learnt a million, a million, a million dreams from um, the Greatest Showman. We're also doing songs that I already knew, like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, a, a long way to Tipperary, which I didn't know. Um, and we're going to put on a little choir show at the end of this, which is adorable. So we've got that at quarter past twelve. And then we've got an. Oh, then we're going to go for lunch. And we tend to go for lunch in, so the lunch options are you can go to like a buffet restaurant or you can go for a sit down. Um, and it tends to be the same sort of food, but in the sit down it's a bit better presented and it's way to serve it and stuff. We quite like doing that for lunch. So we're gonna do that for lunch after we've been to the vocalists. Then we're going to an audience with Captain Simon Love because I'm really interested in the inner workings of this ship. So that's at two and that's in the theatre. Then, we're going to, oh, there's a classical concert with a flamenco guitarist called Samuel Moore. And we, we stumbled upon that quite by accident a couple of the last sea day. Um, and it was amazing. And he was so engaging. Um, and his storytelling to accompany the pieces he was playing was amazing. So I loved that. So we might go to that which is either at 3 30 or at 5 15 but i've been saying that we can go and do bingo and we haven't done any bingo yet and bingo is at 4 15 today so bingo on then dinner then the evening entertainment we quite like the, the theatre company they've got on are called the headliners theatre company and we, we've seen them do a few things and they've been very good and tonight it's 80s basically so it's called new romantics and it says joint headliners theatre company as they take you down to the blitz club where you'll be overtaken by the color flamboyance and more importantly the sounds of the new romantics featuring music from the likes of pete burns boy george and many more prepare to be spun right round in this 80s extravaganza and that's either on 8 30 or 10 30 and we haven't been we've been doing some late ones so yeah but also i want to do some reading today it's cloudy today i'll, I'll give you and also i'm going to take you on a tour around the ship 
and I, there's a promenade deck where you can walk the whole width, uh, the whole circumference of the ship. So I'll take you on that. And yeah, just a few little bits, which I thought would be nice. My reading, because I know you'll be interested. I read and finished A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson within the first three days. This was fine. There was a lot of, so it's about a, a young girl investigating the murder of a young, of a, 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 another young girl and um, the subsequent suicide of someone who was, hello David, you're a bit Hi. cold. Yeah. Shut, door. Shut the door. It's nice to have the. We've, we've got a balcony, and it's nice to have the door open so we can hear the sea. But it is a bit cold when you get out of the shower. Um, yeah, it was fine. It was very readable and very um, sort of engaging. But there was a lot of um, like coincidences and stuff involved. And yeah, I, I thought it was. I thought it was fine. Um, and then next one, I moved on to. Oh no. Next on, I moved on to um, Still Life by Sarah Winman. Now I'm about just over halfway through this and I'm enjoying it. Um, it's the story of um, the chance meeting between um, two strangers, Ulysses Temper, who's a young British soldier, soldier and an art historian called Evelyn Skinner. Um, and they meet by chance and then you hear about their lives back at home after the war. Um, it's quite sort of round the houses. And I'm not sure I love the way it's written in terms of the speech. There's no punctuation and stuff like that. And that's not always my bag. David stood there desperately waiting to dry his hair. Why don't you dry your hair, David, and then I'll continue. Thank you. Hair dried. Um, so, yeah, I'm not mad on the the um, the way that the, the speech is done. But I've got to say, this is very... You really get to know the characters in here. Um... But I haven't loved it as much as I thought I was going to love it. So, but so whilst I was reading that, um, Jen had bought me *The Cabin in the Mountains* by Robert Ferguson, a Norwegian odyssey about a chap buying a Norwegian cabin. And I was aware that I really wanted to read this whilst in Norway and whilst driving through, driving, cruising through the fjords and things. So I, I picked this up, having not finished this, um, and I'm almost done with this. So I would like to finish this today. Similarly, I thought I'd really love this and I haven't loved this and I think this is, um, I, I've enjoyed it and it's felt like, I mean, look at all the, all the little tabs I've made of it. It has been filled with some really interesting stuff about the Norwegian way of life and about Norway. Um, and David and I, when we were in Lofoten yesterday, we went on a, um, a coach tour um, and the chap there gave us some interesting facts as well, which are also in this book. So like I was, uh, some of the things he was saying, I was like, oh yeah, I know that because of this. So that I fully appreciate the book, but I will say the author of this book, Robert Ferguson, I just find him a bit of a miserable old bastard. <laughs> and uh, he's sort of very sort of scathing about certain things and um, just a bit, sort of grumpy and bad vibes um and i'm not sure our sort of political views would align um so yeah that that has led me not being able to enjoy it to the to the maximum but the stuff that i've gained from here the the, the facts and things and the fact that it's got sort of like photos of stuff and um i found it very interesting so that's that so nothing that i've read so far has been an absolute banger so here on the ship they've got a library which is lovely i haven't needed to re use the library because i bought 10 books with me and david bought three so if i ever finished those i could have moved on to those but they have in that library got a little space where people um bring books uh, or borrow books or take books that people have left behind and i wanted to leave behind the books that i'd finished um, so definitely this one and hopefully if I finish this today, I mean I will finish this today, I'm on page 291 and it's 309 pages so just under 20 pages to do because somebody would love to read this while we're in Norway so what I also thought I would do is write a little note in the front saying I read this while I was on my cruise, my name's Lauren, I've got a YouTube channel called Lauren and the Books and see if I can if these books can find their way to someone else, which I do really like it when that happens. So I'm going to write in those and drop those off to the library. I'll obviously show you the library as well. I would like to finish Still Life. And then like if you've just, if you've seen my, my honeymoon TBR, um, I've got a whole host of other books and I thought it would be quite fun to start a romance being on my honeymoon with my romantic love, David, who's currently side shuffling around the bed, looking for things to get ready. So yeah, so that's the plan for today. I think I'll drink my cup of tea that I've just made. 
in bed, finish off the cabin in the mountains, by which point my husband might be back from breakfast with a nectarine for me. Hopefully, it'll be a very quick drop in, so yeah. I've got 25 minutes. You literally just throw it at me, David. I'm going to throw it at you, like a boomerang. And then he's going to, how do you say it, quoits? Quoits, and then at half ten the shuffleboard, which is just around the corner. So oh. if, if I'm out of quoits by then, I might go and try shuffleboard. There we go, he's doing both. Um, by which point I'll be dressed and we'll be ready for choir, won't we, David? Certainly will. And I'll take you on a little trip around the ship. The ship. And give you a, I'll give you a um, cabin tour. I might give you a cabin tour when our lovely steward has been in and tidied things up because. Yeah, don't do it now. Don't do it now because David's in his shit hole. It's, it's not a shit hole, but yeah. Well, the cloud's clearing a bit, is it? No. 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 <laughs> right, we'll see you a bit later on. I don't know what the light situation's going to be like because this is the balcony and I realise I'm backlit, but just wanted to just give you a little different angle. So, David has become. This is the first time you're seeing David in this vlog. Hi, David. Hi. Um, David has become absolutely obsessed with Sudoku. <laughs> like obsessed with it. We get a free. We get one of these every morning. I don't do the crosswords though. Every morning we get a little Britain Today newspaper with the headlines, and then we get a crossword and a Sudoku. Um, and David's been. Uh, I did the first Sudoku, and David was saying he wasn't interested in Sudoku. And then after that, David, who's been interested in Sudoku? Me. And he's been doing them every day and today's the first time he has completed one <laughs> and it took him an hour and he literally sits in silence i've never seen apart from when you're on tiktok i've never seen you so focused on something in your life yeah my i also bought a puzzle book before we came out and david's currently doing a sudoku in there so he really does mean it now the time is quarter past 11 we've got choir at 12 it's not until 12 15 but they want us to get there for 12 so we can warm up um and I'm just finished the cabin in the mountains, but I'm going to write little notes in the front of these and take these up to the library. Now our cabin is literally just below the library, so I might go and do that now before we go. Oh, also, <laughs> I bought this. Did you just do a fart? No. Oh, I you really sounded like it. I'm sorry, I leapt round to judge you. Um, I bought this T-shirt yesterday when we were in Or. So it's this is a town, and this is what it's called. This A with this little. Is it the, the, the small, it, the, it's the... Yeah, I don't know if there's other towns that have one letter mm. names, but because we don't have internet, <laughs> which we're quite enjoying actually, we can't um, check. But yeah, it's called A with a little, tiny like little stop. round thing, and it's mm. in Lofferton. And I bought this t-shirt yesterday, cool, and I really yeah. like it. Yeah, I'm trying to buy something in each place, so that I've got something to remember each place by. But yeah, I love this, and I'm wearing it straight away. So I'm going to write little notes in these books... Um, and so, and then I'm going to take them upstairs and you can take them upstairs with me. Alright David, still doing your Sudoku? Yep. I'm just going to the library to drop off my books, David. Will you be okay without me? I'll be okay. Would well, you without think you'll even notice I'm gone? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, the room's a mess. We'll do a proper tour later. Got the two books. I'll show you how close the library is. Around here. Housekeeping on the way. Up the steps. Oh, I've got my card to get back in. Hopefully David will have his. Then, over here. This is the section I'm going to to leave these two here. So when we got here, this was too deep. Now I'm popping these two in. I was tempted by this, 
book one of the Dragon Temple Saga, only because it's from the US. But there we go, let's see. I'm gonna come back and check and see if they've gone back. But yeah, this is a library. And all of these. And that's the crow's nest where I like to sit and read. I'm going to go back to the room now anyway. I've got my card. I know you did. What's the I've always got to take my card. card. Here's my little bag. And this is where the card is. Is there many books up there? About ten. Oh, good. Here's Balcony Life. No, I mean, if I'm being honest, so sea days, whilst this is lovely the first time it happens, and it's not even, it's not even, like an it's not even clear, but yeah, when you're going through fjords and stuff, that's much more interesting than this, but we've got two little chairs out here, and a little table, a little footstool, and that's where I'm going to sit now, whilst David does his Sudoku inside, and... The angle's not going to be my best angle I've ever seen in my life. But I'm going to start reading By the Book by Jasmine Gallery. I've read one other book by Jasmine Gallery. I read a Christmas book. I can't think what it was called. But it was about a woman who was a, a, a um, fashion stylist. And she was coming over to style. She was American coming over to the UK to style the equivalent of Meghan Markle. And she brought her mum with her and her mum fell in love with the chief of staff which was quite fun so yeah let's see this one's set in a publishing house um yeah sorry david so we're on lido deck and up is where the crows nest and the library and then we're going down to masquerade which is where choir is there's also shopping, and David wants to buy. What do you want to buy? Oh, so don't be fooled. I've heard some good things about it. Look how cute he is. He's got his little lyrics for his choir. I've got my choir tea, and this is his bag. Hey, hey, hey. Is it seven? Yeah. Old people. <laughs> Oh, Miss Cruz are obsessed with this. They're Holding so the lift. frightened. That Holding the lift door doors. It's going to shut and crush them to death. They are they so are, panicky. They're like putting so their arms is. out. It's very funny. Right. We'll take you for a walk around seven at some point as well. Here we go. Here. What's up? Mm -hmm. I think there's several doors in there. Oh, maybe. Yeah. This is Anderson's. We haven't been in there yet, have we, David? No. That's like a cocktail. <laughs> David's waving. David's made so many friends, <laughs> which is adorable. Um, and then this is the sort of like atrium area, I guess you'd say. There's this, which is very pretty. Who should? Oh, uh, goes all the way down to reception. Where there's literally nothing in reception, but this is. Oh, I can't really. I've got a cup of tea. I don't really want to go in, so I'll wait here. This is another little cocktail bar. <clears throat> Up there is Sindhu, where we went for dinner while we were at sea, which was lovely. There I am. I'm gonna wait here. I might pop, perch myself down there. Good look. Got my lyrics ready for choir practice. David's over there, absolutely <laughs> loving it. This is the captain. Since our departure from Leckness in the Lofoten Islands yesterday afternoon, Aurora has steamed a total distance of 170 nautical miles at an average speed of just 10 knots. 
leaving us a further 198 nautical miles to run until our destination of Trondheim tomorrow morning. Our current position is latitude 66 degrees, 03 minutes north, and 009 degrees, 10 minutes east. Geographically, this places us 65 nautical miles from the west coast of Norway. Aurora did cross the Arctic Circle on the way south, so we're south of the Arctic Circle now, and that was at 7.50 exactly this morning. We've got two new songs to learn today, Hey Jude and Simply the Best. And the boys are ready to take the class. My lunch date, who's backlit to shit. Oh, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even going to show you, but there, there he yeah, is. Help. No. <laughs> you want me to film you instead? So, no, it's okay. So we've come for lunch. Um, we always like to get a table for two for lunch. It's very easy to get a table for two. Nice views. We wanted that table, but they gave us this one. That's the CC outside. But, um, CC. The CC. Quite as enjoyable, just deciding what to have. I think I'm gonna have. Oh, I can't focus on this. I think I'm gonna have this salad of asparagus. Oh, yeah. Hiya, water, please, please. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and I think I'm gonna have this as well. It's lovely, thank you very much. And I might even have some pasta too. Lovely, thank, thank you. you. What are you thinking of having, David? Well, definitely. Oh, I bet David's having this. Well, I, I also want the beer batter cod and golden scamp. He's having double? Yeah, I might not. Uh, well, because none of the small plates are exciting to me. Yeah. So I think beer batter cod and golden scamp, which we can share. So here's the whole menu if you'd like to have a little look at it. But I think I'm going to go salad of asparagus and butternut squash, and I might have some pasta. And what's the pasta? With al olives and capers. And I've been me I've, I'm desperate to have this. I couldn't have that on the first night because I had a toothache. Yeah. Salad. I mean, none of these pictures. This, you can't make a plate of food look nice. David, he's gone for the Katku burger and chips. Those chips are so nice, by the way. They're really so hot. We've come to the theatre to watch the captain speaking. I'm quite up for this. Oh my God, it's heaving. We're going at the front, obviously. We're front energy people. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Um, that was lovely. And then I think I touched on the Arcadia for a little while. And then, and then various ships after that. So over my career then in, with been back in PO after that time. So 2007 I came back. And then basically I was always going to be, I was on the PO ships for a long time. Fascinating person, and we are very lucky to have Captain Simon Love as the master of Aurora. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. How did you enjoy the captain's chat, David? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, it was interesting. I didn't think, oh, I didn't I know. That disappeared. I didn't know why we'd be, we'd be going so oh, deep yeah. into his. Uh, <laughs> you're very light, aren't you? Into his sort of school life. The, the actual Q and A uh, session I found more interesting because it was sort yeah. of like they've been talking about getting a pilot come on, and he's the person that sort of like navigates through the fjords and stuff like that. And I was very interested on how that pilot comes in and who's in charge. And both two people asked those questions, <laughs> so I was very interested in that but yeah I'm very interested in sort of like the inner workings of the, the ship. ship and like because the staff work so hard and they seemingly are always working um, but yeah it was interesting we're about now to go to go to the shop because I've seen a little pair of earrings that are little crowns um, that remind me of Sixth Musical and every, every time I walk past I look at them and I think it's 20% uh, off of costume jewellery today so if they are, I'm going to get them because I've been trying to buy something in each place and then want something from the ship as well. We're about to be chucked out. Oh, we're about to be chucked out. Right, okay. Let's go then. And there they are. The little crowns I want. £38, but if I get 20% off, that's about 30 quid. They're very cute, aren't they? Back. This is what the room looks like. I thought I would save the tour till now because it's been turned down and it's beautiful. So let's start in the little bathroom. Oh, lights on in the little bathroom. 
Lou, David's hair products, and then this little, little bath that I thought we'd use, but we haven't. The shower's really nice, and it's really hot. Out of here, into the room. David's on the balcony already. Well, I'm not allowed to get, I'll make it messy. <laughs> no, he's not allowed to make it messy. My side of the bed, with my books. Good, good size wardrobe. David's got all of this stuff. We've got one of these each. And then this is my stuff at the front and that's David's stuff at the back. Although, there's another, this is a, a jumper that I bought with Malloy. Oh, I'll show you the other thing I bought. So I've been trying to buy something in each port to remind me. And then... Little, and I bought myself this little headband knitted for the winter. Isn't it so adorable? Um, so yeah, that's what I bought in each port. And then telly. We we very much there. I am. We very much enjoy the telly because not because of the telly because the actual the 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 uh, standard of the telly is terrible. It's David's side of the bed with David's books. But there's a channel on here which my dad told me about and he loves. And we love it. Uh, this is it, Channel 21. It's the nav the navigation channel. So that's us in the middle of whatever sea we're in. <laughs> um, and as you get closer to shore, it sort of like shows you all the bits, which is lovely. Yeah. Um, and then we've got a little area here. This has been very nice. Mm -hmm. By the way, the only reason we've got such a posh cabin is because this was uh, this honeymoon was a gift from my parents. So there's no way we would be able to afford this again if we did it. And then the balcony, which I showed you briefly this morning, has got two little chairs and a little table. And then endless views of the sea. If you're after sea, that's where you want to go. How are you finding it, David? Good. So yeah, we've been having... God, we've <laughs> got so much room. Uh, we've been having a really nice time, haven't yeah, we? Have, what have yeah. been your cruise highlights? Um, Sudoku's. Sudoku's. Skolden. Oh, Skolden was lovely. So Skolden was our first port. We didn't actually realise we were we were passing that. We were stopping there. So I was a bit like, oh, we. Are, I thought it was just a cruise by. Mm. We don't know all the all the terminology, all the guys. Terminology. But it was beautiful. It was really mm. really quiet and quaint and yeah. lots of walk in and sort of like one shop, which was lovely and. It was very, very nice. Malloy, which was our second stop, was more a bit like where we're from, actually. Yeah. Sort of like a sort of industrial yeah, nice. town, but still nice. Yeah. That only became a port last year. So they done like a farewell party and they had like the Norwegian Tom Jones mm. there and things like that. Yeah. Um, um, and then uh, Lotherton, which is where we went yesterday, yeah. Leckness, we went on an excursion there, um, which was good. The, the excursion was good. The thing, so it was £134 each, um, and we went in a coach for 63 k to somewhere called Or, you would have seen my t shirt earlier, and had a little wander around there, had lunch there, and things like that. But on the way, we, we stopped at a few sort of like we beauty stopped spots. At a beach and a church. Yeah, no, that was on the way back, wasn't on it? On the way back. Um, yeah. On the way there, we stopped at a few sort of like panoramic spots. We also stopped at a museum about fishing, which was a bit boring. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, we enjoyed the cruise uh, we enjoyed the, the excursion and if it had been 64 pounds or like around that maybe i would have been like yeah brilliant yeah but in terms of value felt... for money for 134 pounds yeah no I, yeah i don't really know where that's even gone. if lunch was like 34 pounds yeah i don't know whether the, because i think the museum was free well. i think the museum's free to go in anyway oh i don't know if that was but yeah that did feel yeah. a bit <laughs> we've got yeah. three but more stops We've got Trondheim, Halson, and and Dalsners. This is our oh no, this isn't. This is our penultimate day at sea. So we've got this is we've got today at sea. Then we've got Trondheim, Halson, and and Or Trondheim is definitely tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and then we've got one more day at sea, and then we're home. Which is a bit sad, isn't it? Oh, by the way, the reason why I didn't show you the rest of lunch is because we've sort of made friends with a young lad who's here on holiday with his brother and his parents. And he's in he's his like twenties, yeah. And he's um, he's a bit of a talker. He's a talker. He loves a chat. And he was sat at a different table to us and talking across the table. And yeah. I was just like, I can't negotiate this. And I had my back to him as well. It was so hard. I'm like, come to try to eat me dinner. And he's asking me questions. I'm like, uh, uh. Dave, Dave, yeah, here, look at my two burgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was, but yeah. yeah. But everyone is so nice and yeah, polite, they really they? are. Yeah, yeah. You can't like the stuff it. And so like another of my highlights have been like the shows. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, like the much. group on here is uh, called the Headliners, yeah. and like their, their first show was good, and they done a show last That's night. That's kind, David. Was, <laughs> it was a bit cheesy. Yeah, but, and but then they did a last, show. last night they done one where like it was based in one of the smaller 
smaller like theatre bar areas which oh, was oh, there's also there's not a bad seat in the house is no, there in not, these places there's they're really made for sort of like yeah. Yeah, wherever you sit you will be able to see yeah, the theatre is really impressive yeah, well it, unless you're sitting behind me I've had oh, yeah, several so old people, people move, move because, because big meathead because of my big meathead and my big broad shoulders yeah, and I can hear him going I'm going to have to move seats yeah. so that's <laughs> happened a couple of times so but I mean I can't but David, about that people say that about me and I haven't even got a big I have got a big meathead but I haven't got broad shoulders yeah, yeah, people but, say that of me if I sit in front mm, of them as well. But the headliners done a show called Applause, and they basically do like bits. Like they mainly do, they do a big like fifteen minute section of Lame Is to, to finish. But before that, they do like a half an hour section where they go through I don't know about forty musicals. Yeah, and it is. It was incredible. The like, quick changes were yeah, amazing. Yeah, like, because we're like, I'm sure Laura, you mentioned, oh yeah, because we're, we're doing the choir and two of the oh, yeah. two of the guys in it are, are like hosting the choir. They're the choir masters. So, so we were talking to them about it the other day, and we just said like, like to the to the sides of the stage, it just must be an absolute state, just full of costumes and props, because there was so much I've never seen anything like it and we sort and of it was we were sat to the side as well so we could see them going on and off and coming back yeah. on and um they it wasn't even like they were halfway off and they were taking stuff no. out. like they were fully they were i couldn't fully see off. them yeah and then they were coming back on literally yeah. about oh, it's it's twice, and yeah, it was David just... it twice do you want to show your glasses david I can show my glasses. so um yeah like i said i've been trying to buy something in each port just as a little <laughs> gift to myself um and david tret himself in malloy to these glasses which are really nice so they look like this. I imagine if you live in Norway, because I know a few of you guys do, these are probably what you've got in your house, but these are just, they're glasses and they say Norg on them, which is Norwegian for Norway. Um, and we also bought ourselves some little snacks, didn't we? Yeah, and these pack of six. Yeah, it was well, a bargain. Well, like a tenner. Just over a tenner, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, so, yeah. but well, I was looking That's at a couple David's of- at the moment. Oh, and the Sudoku book. And the Sudoku book, which is probably my most prized possession now. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have a wee. Yeah. Then should we make it down to Masquerade? Yeah, we'll get our seats with a bingo. Are you going to go big on the bingo? You're going to have the £15 pack. Is that how much it is? Yeah, well, you, as much or as little as you want, but if you get the £15 pack, you get three free games. What, today or whenever I want to use them? No, I think it's them. just like, as in the book. Yeah, I need, to, I need to find out how it works, if that's the case, yeah, because we've the also been told also that the last the last bingo of the cruise is the one to go to because apparently it's a bit like a closing I think down we'll be able sale to do that. Like, i think we'll be at our show oh we might be that's a good point actually uh yeah i mean i've never i've never bingo before so maybe maybe i'll just play it safe just today stop looking at my ear. Yeah. i'm gonna wear them tonight it's black tie tonight so you'll see me and david in all our finery suited and booted um, i'm gonna wear my green skirt and my colorful top and i'm wearing my wedding my suit loafers and then these oh yeah so yeah so the rest of the evening, uh, the rest of the afternoon goes bingo, maybe go and watch the flamenco guitarist. Yeah, then get ready. Get ready for dinner. Dinner. Uh, headliners. Headliners. That's it. I was having an iron about karaoke, but I don't know. Is it? It's black tie tonight, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I keep saying I want to go and like have a couple of beers and have a sing song, but guys, I just can't really be bothered. No, I'm sleeping very well. Much, yeah, I've like, I work away, as most people know, I work away a lot for work and I struggle to get off when I'm in like hotel rooms and stuff like that. But here, I've not had any issues whatsoever. But it's a lovely comfy bed. You get lulled to bed with the Yeah, the, the rocking, yeah, the sensation might help, but we've never we've not really had anything rough really. Like the second day Apart maybe a bit <laughs> was a bit white but even then, like yeah, I'm very much exaggerating how much it was. David, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. David's finally got his burger that he's been absolutely gagging to have from. This is the Lido grill. I went and got myself a little goat cheese and red onion. How is how is the burger, David? I haven't tried it yet. Basically, it's burgers, hot dogs, and pieces on tap. Could you take a bite of it live on the camera, please? Mm-hmm. Tell us how it is. A solid two out of ten. It's fine. <laughs> We're absolutely bingo ready. And now I own a, a dabber. And I own two David dabbers. owes two dabber. David went and bought the wrong thing to start with, so he's but he sorted it. 
We've got the value pack. There's five games. We're going to win six thousand pounds. Are you feeling ready? And a, and a free cruise. And a free cruise. David, what just happened? Oh, it's a bit warm in here, isn't it? He just won 70 English pounds Eight at bingo. Macaroon. How did you find it? Do you, did you enjoy it more now that you won? Um, it was very fun. It was all right, actually. It wasn't too bad. It's quite intense, though, wasn't it? It was quite intense. It went, oh, because we were told it goes quite slow. If that's slow... The, the, but the last Christ one was knows. fast. Christ knows how quick it is normally. That what are you going to spend your 70 pounds on? Um, sweets, probably. What, on, on board sweets? On board sweets, yeah. Very cute. What's up, what are we up to next? Um, oh, if we, we could probably, is it Samuel Moore soon? I don't know. He's getting his little phone out to have a look. We've just been and had a little look. <laughs> David's got his 70 puns. Um, we've just been and had a look at what's for dinner at the sit down tonight and it's nice. So we're going to go there. Yeah, Lots really of vegetarian matter. choice, which is very exciting. Um, and now we're heading back to the room. But on the way, we're going to stop and see if my books have <laughs> been think taken. Lauren's been gagging to do I'm very this. excited to see if my books have been taken. So green carpet. That's how I remember what lift we're on. Green carpet. Up there and take all the no, don't say that. <laughs> and we're heading up to. Well, we need to go to 13 to the library. <laughs> Were you cheering because there was no one in the lift? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No emergency uh, button holds. God, you you always make me think I was going to do that. So we've decided not to go to the flamenco guitarist, which is fine. We've already been once. Yeah, he was very good. Um, but we sort of think maybe we're going to go and chill in the room for a bit. Just chill. And David likes I to take a leisurely get ready. Yeah, I, especially on celebration nights yeah. as well. So I'd maybe do a Sudoku, a bit of a chill. I might have to iron a shirt. I can't remember if I need to iron three shirts. We're going now. Here we go. They've both gone. They've so both exciting. gone. That's what you get. That's has excited me. Should we take them outside for a little, a little look? Yeah. Before my battery runs out. See if we can. I'll take you as far as my battery running out. So enjoy this. Well, we this is the. Uh, yeah, this is the top <laughs> deck. You're not going to see much. Of We're getting ready for. I'm going to have to close this door because it is a bit cold. 7.5 degrees, and tomorrow it's going to be 26. Mad, isn't it? Um. So yeah, we're going to start getting ready for yeah. celebration. It's not celebration, it's black tie. Oh, but it's, oh, it's just black tie. And I, that's what I'm wearing that's on the bed over there. Deep. I've got a big green skirt. I actually call it, I remember the Queen wearing an outfit very much like it. If I can find a picture of it, I will insert it here. David, look like you're the Queen wearing an outfit. <laughs> I'll see I if I can or, or should I do it again? Yeah. <laughs> because she's dead, that's the joke. Um, yeah, I'll insert. Should have done it first time. You should have done it first time. But the I'm wearing that. Effect. David's not decided what he's wearing yet. Well, it's either a pink or a white shirt. And so. then his green wedding suit. I love this t-shirt so much. It's so cute. I'm so happy with it. Uh, and I'm wearing these today. David has said that he wants to finish this Sudoku by the time I get out of the shower. We will report back and I will tell you if he managed to do it. <laughs> how, you, how confident are you feeling? Not very. Mm -hmm. I, I believe in you. She's out of the shower. Is the like Sudoku is the Sudoku complete? No, but I'm on my way. Okay, well that's fine. It was only your self-imposed <laughs> um, thing you wanted to do. Yeah. I'll start getting ready. I think. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Like I said, there's something very regal about this. So this was secondhand from Depop. Um, it's originally from Marks and Spencers, but the the label is like one of those really really old. When it used to be called St Michael or something. Here it is. Yeah, look, St. Michael. Um, and it reminds me a bit of like a photo, like there was a photograph company that used to have that and then I'm gonna wear it with this green skirt and this is sort of full and mad. Mm. <laughs> um, and then these green loafers. And then my new earrings that I bought today and I'll probably slick my hair back because I haven't washed it. So yeah, let me get in that and then I'll show you. I'm ready! I wish I had a bloody mirror like this at home where I could show you what I was wearing. I just can't get this close to the mirror. I mean, I know it's a bit extra, but hey, 
I, I am a bit extra. David looks handsome. This is his actual wedding outfit. The whole shebang. The whole shebang. And again, backlit to shit. <laughs> but we're off now to get some din dins. I'm taking you with me. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes we sit with people at dinner. Depends how long the wait is. Um, and if that's the case, I probably won't bother. But yeah, we're going to a show. I can't film any of the show because you're not able to do that. But yeah, maybe we'll take you a little nip around the ship. Um, I'll show you anything a bit new. I've quite enjoyed doing this today. Part of me wants to say maybe I'll do it on the next sea day. Which but, is our last Which is our last day. day. I'll see how I feel. But I've enjoyed doing it. I've enjoyed vlogging it. Um, anyway, let's see you a bit later on. We went before. to dinner and it's a 45 minute wait for two people and we quite fancy being by ourselves so we've come to this bar and we're both having a mango mule which is a non-alcoholic cocktail but I had to show you the state of these cards, look how beautiful they are. <laughs> we're playing Shithead which is the only card game we know how to play. Well you know sevens but... Well I don't know that I do. Well, it worked though didn't it? Ish. Ish. Well yeah. Anyway, onwards we go. My handsome dinner date and it's it's come on focus i'm clicking on it celebration night um i'm gonna have the asian platter to start then the wild mushroom soup i'm going four courses and then i'm gonna have this ricotta and spinach ravioli david is having he's going all fish he's having the shrimp tian clam chowder and then salmon for me and then it's on to desserts Done. Here's mine. David's. I'll zoom in on David's because um, you might not be able to see it. <laughs> oh God, it's not focusing. The joke is, is that it's very small. Thank you. And the focusing is not working. But David's eating it now. Look what that is. And a lot. Of, what a boys. And Dave, I know so many. We're just talking about choir. Um, saying how many tenors there were today. Oh, nice. And then is David doing a little face as we pan out of it? He is smug. This looks lovely. Sorted. Not excursion, our tender. <laughs> Sorry, David's just talking about what we got planned tomorrow. So we're in Tron time tomorrow. Oh, we had a lovely time at the show. Yeah. David's just stood there with his, same he hasn't got his vest on really, because you would all love to see him in his vest. <laughs> Um, we had a lovely time at the show. It was a new romantics 80 show and it was very good. They're very, very good performers. They are. And I just love, what I love about the shows is that they just... Sh is everyone throw. that's in them because I'm in love with them. Oh no, I do really, really you like do. the cast. David's very, very they're, they're, because they're so hard working and they're also They really are so nice. hard working. The dancers are all amazing. They have like these sort of flashboards outside and it sort of tells you a little bit about them. Some of them are as young as 19. <laughs> and I think, oh God, I hope you're getting enough sleep and eating enough. Um, yeah. But yeah, they're all amazing. And yeah, it was really fun. And then we met someone that we sort of become mateys with um, and we walked down to the other bar and there was a bit of karaoke, karaoke. going on there. Proud Mary and uh, Erasure. But yeah. and we then... didn't stay for long. We yeah. went to the Horizon restaurant, which is a restaurant, a buffet sort of restaurant. And I got myself a Horlicks. I've been getting very much into Horlicks and a couple of cookies and david's got himself what looks like the onion is <laughs> is that just pure onion no in there's that? beef in it and then this is a garlic chicken and, oh mayonnaise. what a lovely treat for me to sleep next to tonight <laughs> hey garlic and chick and uh, red onion you'll be facing the other way um and now we're making decisions about what to do in tron time tomorrow so tron time is where we are at tomorrow and we're at tender which means that we're anchored in the bay and then we have to get little tiny tender boats, which I think carry about 50 people. No, 88. Oh, 80, 88 people, about 50 people, 88 people. Um, and last time when we were in uh, Loverton, that took about 10, sort of 10 15 and we, minutes. And we, had, minute. and we had an excursion, so we was, they so, was so kind we of got, ready yeah, for us. Yeah, because we had an excursion booked, we got sort of priority. Mm. But we, there was an announcement after the end of the show, sort of saying... It's very cute they do a little if you ain't gonna be go if you're not planning on going at half seven you probably won't get off till 10 because of all the excursions which is a bit of a pain with the tender ports mm -hmm. because i don't think that because my mum was like oh i love it when you're at tender because then you can go and like it's really fun to go on the boat and i was like it's not really fun to go on the boat no i thought it was <laughs> going to be fun but it wasn't as fun as it's I thought annoying it would be. going on the boat mm -hmm. um and yeah you're sort of cattled in there 
Um, yeah, it's very uncomfortable, isn't yeah. it, on there? Um, so yeah, so that's pushed our plans back a bit, really, hasn't it? Because we're yeah. not going to make. There's no way we'll be getting off at half seven. It's also it's Sunday, so nothing's going to be open at half seven. So we think we're going to go for breakfast at about nine, mm -hmm. and then head on over, go and get a ticket after that. We'll come back here. Yeah. Yeah, because it's going to be a hot one tomorrow. It's going to be 26 yeah. and sunny. So just take a chill. And then we in Tron time, there's a, uh, a flea market at the port that we're very much looking forward to do it, uh, to, to having a look around. There's um, a Norwegian R&B and pop and rock museum, which we're quite keen to go to. But otherwise than that, it seems as though when we were reading about it, it's, it's quite quiet because it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. So... Um, once we've done those two things, that might be it, and we might be back. And as it's warm, I'd quite like to go swimming. I haven't been swimming yet. And we're getting to the last few days of the old holiday. Mm. Anyway, I think I'll call it a day. I hope you've enjoyed coming around on the holiday with us for a day. I sort of feel tempted to do this on the second to last day, but are we going to be a bit busy, and is it going to be less fun? Um, well, I mean, it might be less fun for them to watch because we're going we're gonna to be... Packing I'm gonna, and getting I'm ready. Packing, a bit nervous about the performance. Oh yeah, we've got a choir performance on the last yeah. day. Yeah, that's actually going to be a busy day, actually. Yeah. Because packing is going to yeah. take a, probably a good hour, I'll leave it hour and a half. I hope you've enjoyed coming away with us for the one day. And you've seen the bits of the ship you've seen and heard our experiences, if that's been yeah. helpful to you. We're enjoying cruising a lot, aren't we, David? We are. We're just very tired. <laughs> you'll, you'll know what we're like at home. We're very, very sedentary and like reading and sort of moving from the chair to the bed is probably the most I do in a day. But we've been absolutely chock full in it with uh, activities. So yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. And I'll see you all again soon for another Brick video, won't we, David? Yeah. Bye. Bye.